Alright, so this video is talking about um, this series that I found on YouTube called uh, Celebrities Read Mean Tweets. And I just wanted to give my feedback on, on, you know, the videos. You know, it's pretty funny, some of them. And it's very relatable um, because when I started my YouTube channel and I had the comments on, there, there were a lot of people that would write very mean things to me. Um, but the thing is, I would never read them. But the thing is, you know, my friends would read them, my students would read them, you know, my family would read them, and, and it would be very disrespectful and potentially very embarrassing and just kind of, you know, it, it's a distraction, you know. And when I when I saw that the celebrity reading mean tweets, um, the series is having the real actual celebrity reading the mean tweets that they've received in their Twitter accounts. And um, that's one thing that I, that I realized that they mentioned about the Twitter that I never really thought about or never knew is that the actual person that is on Twitter, the celebrity is actually writing that. You know, the celebrity is actually reading the feedback. You know, and I never thought that that would really be the case, you know. In my eyes, it was kind of an assumption that I had that celebrities wouldn't even give the time or day for things like that. They got better things to do, and they don't pay attention to those sorts of things that go happen online. Um, but this is this is uh, an example of how there are celebrities out there, really big name celebrities that really that do go online and they do. Um, and they are affected, you know, by these these comments and this negative energy. Um, one thing that I really that I wanted to mention, which is a very factual and obvious, is that so much of their energy is um, given to negative energy. You know, like they, so much of their attention is given towards negative energy. You know, I'm sure that they've received thousands if not millions of positive um, words of encouragement and positive things but you know all those comments and all those messages are just kind of ignored and their attention is focused on on these mean comments and these mean um, you know you know this these net this neck this type of negative energy you know, I think the, po the, 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 the the opposite needs to be done. You know, like rather than putting the energy into the negativity, they need to put the energy into the positive, into the positivity. Because essentially, what you're doing is you're glorifying the negativity, and you're making the people, you're giving people an incentive to be negative, so then they could get attention. You know, and um, it's the same thing that's happening with this violence. It's like. There's a lot of positive things happening in this world, but then the media keeps focusing on the negative things, and the money is being generated by the negative things, you know, and these people that are saying these mean things, they're getting attention and they're making money off of negative energy, you know, and I really think that it, it, it should be the, the, the opposite that's done. You know, that's what I that I uh, that I've attempted to do with my channel is I turn off the comments because I don't want the negative people to to run my channel. You know, and when I receive positive, you know, emails and positive messages, you know, I I, I try to take my time to to um, share that positive energy with the world. You know, and I might not reference the message directly. But the more positive messages that I get, the more positive support, the more it makes me a positive person in order to create material that will um, inspire positivity within my audience. You know, and you know, and some of these videos, these celebrities reading the mean tweets, you could tell that it, that it hurts them. You know, you can tell that that it bothers them. You know, it clearly does. You know, some some of them respond back with anger, and then they try to laugh it off. Um, some of them just straight up respond 
with um with um sadness and they try to laugh that, that off as well um but it also shows me that it's not just me i'm not the only one going through this sort of um challenge when you when you go public with your life um or with your thoughts or with your ideas or with your creativity um these celebrities are going through this sort of challenge you know but another thing that i want to point out is that these celebrities that are on the show they are making multi-million dollars um so it's easier to accept this sort of negative criticism and this or this negative energy with a grain of salt because you know they're making so much money and they're enjoying so much of their lives you know and this is just part of the things that they have to deal with but when you got somebody like myself who is on YouTube and I'm not making that much money um I don't you know I don't deserve to be you know um to to allow this energy you know I don't it's it's not worth me to allow this energy to overtake me it's not worth it for me to to even give the time or day to these sort of people you know if if i'm getting paid to read these negative comments i mean if i'm getting paid lots of money to to read these negative comments then i might do it but i'm not getting paid much of anything and i don't want this negative energy to change who i am and to to um discourage me from being myself um and it's already happened in the past you know negative energy really can uh ruin your day you know it could really um blur your vision um you know and and temporarily blind you you know with anger and emotion you know and it takes a lot of meditativeness a lot of spirituality to be able to rise above it all you know and um you know i feel that the approach should be to not give any energy to the to these negative people to give your energy back to the positive people to the supporters you know and to share positive energy with the world you know and you know it is it is kind of a a wake up call to to see that um the energy that you put out there even even if you think that nobody is listening or paying attention that you could be wrong you know there could there could be a lot of people listening and there could be a lot of people paying attention so every video that you put out there every message that you write be attentive be aware You know, are you putting good content out there? Are you are you are you, you know, is this message, is this creative this this video, if this is this creativity that you created, is it going to benefit the people? Is it going to help the people? Or is it just further contributing towards um the negative, the negativity of this world? You know, I've and I've learned this, you know, from my experiences being on YouTube. and also just from seeing these sorts of videos how much of an of, a, of an effect that you can have on people you know not just seeing this these videos but also getting messages from people and noticing that my children are watching the videos my students some of my students are watching the videos um strangers that I don't know that know me are watching the videos i mean you know coworkers could be watching the videos i mean a lot of people could be watching and we might not realize the impact that we have on people and you we really have to wake up and see you know what this technology has allowed us the opportunity to do it's allowed us to reach to masses amounts of people in a matter of seconds you know so it just makes it also more important for us to harness positive energy so we can share that energy with the world um not to share the negative energy you know like not to create when you're when you're not feeling good when you're feeling down when you're feeling negative when you're feeling just something 
is not right. Don't create at that time. Don't write. Just stay to yourself. Get rid of that energy and um, wait for the positive energy to come back before you start creating. You know, and these are some important lessons that I'm, that I'm learning. You know, and I want to create more positivity and I want to have a, a, a more positive influence in the people out there. And, you know, we already have an, a, a, enough negative energy as is. Enough of this cage fighting, enough of these shootings and these killings, enough of these disrespectful comments and all this negative energy just floating around everywhere. We have an, too much of that. We need to counter that with positive energy. And that's one of my my purposes of being in, in YouTube. You know, and hopefully um, I could always keep that in mind as the years go on.